up what up here I am talking to you from my car again because my kids are home at five o'clock on a goddamn Tuesday and I don't swear in the house that's right I don't swear in the house and so I gotta come out here to talk to motherfucking YouTube live so there you go how goes it? Who's this first post? Crystal Smelts. What up? Shane Williams, Sarah McCullen, Dominic Hackle, Teresa Zimmerman, David O'Leary, Andrew Medina, Ryan Anderson, MC Barbecue. God damn it. Some dude's name I can't even fucking produce. I don't even know what the fuck that one is. All right. What up? What up? What up? I'm fucking tired. I'm fucking tired, man. I could go to sleep right... It's 5 o'clock in the afternoon. I could go to sleep right fucking now. But I'm not. I'm going to talk to you. And then I got to go cook some dinner. Ugh. I got shit to do. Shit to do. You know what else I got to do? I got to get ready. I got to prepare the video. We're doing a video right now. To, no, not right now. Tomorrow. But uh, I went and met with uh, the director yesterday and today, yesterday, today, today, met with the de director today, this morning, and uh, we're going over the shots, we're going over the shot list, I tell you what, YouTube Live, I'm probably going to fucking broadcast from YouTube Live tomorrow, just let you see some of the shit, let you see some of the sets, it's going to be sick, sick bro, hashtag sick bro, it's going to be awesome, hashtag sick bro, now I'm stoked, Really stoked. You know, it's really cool when you got, um, you know, like we're, when we get to these videos now, like now, like the thing that's amazing, like about doing videos is that, you know, when we first started video doing videos. We had all this horse shit with MTV and we couldn't do this and we couldn't do that. And we couldn't, you know, now it's like there ain't even videos on MTV and they certainly aren't going to play this kind of shit. So it's really like, you know, you can put it out on YouTube and it's like you have all this freedom, which is amazing. You know, like all this freedom to kind of just do, get crazy and get wild. And, you know, I think there is a little bit of, you know, you got to kind of blur out genitalia or whatever. Like on the Now We Die video, we had chicks with tits and snakes and, and, uh, and it was awesome. But, uh, we had to blur that out, I think. So, but we're going down a whole different route this time. We're going with the whole new trip. And I'm uh, I'm pretty juiced on it, man. I'm pretty. I'm not gonna tell too much. I'll, I'll I'll give you a more update tomorrow. But yes, tomorrow shooting a video for the title track, Catharsis. It's gonna be sick, bro. Hashtag sick, bro. What are you guys asking me, <laughs> bro? <laughs> Deckhead dance, bro. He gave me forward slash, bro. Tits and snakes are great, says anonymous two seventy eight. They are. That was a fun video to make. I had, they had, you know, that video was seriously like hashtag sick bro. <laughs> um, we had, um, I feel like I got something in my teeth out here. I, I don't know, do I? Maybe I don't. Anyway, I had um, on the lat now that now we die video was so much fucking fun to make. It was seriously just like take the most fucked up ideas that you can think of and you know I had fucking a devil you know there was one point when my manager was like whoa dude too far like too far I was gonna have there's the devil guy and the dead and if you remember in the in the now we die video it's the videos recreating all the imagery from the album art and so there was like the you know guy chopping off the person's head and then there was um, the devil leading the cardinal. And so we recreated all those things. And, uh, so I was going to have the devil pulling the card, dragging the cardinal with the chain around his neck. And then the cardinal was going to go to a whore and get a blow job. And I actually talked this girl into like getting completely naked and giving the cardinal a blow job. But my manager was like, dude, too far. Whoa, dude. And it unfortunately didn't happen. He talked me out of it. And we actually just ran out of time. But I was so stoked that I tucked the chick into doing it. I was like, dude, it'll be awesome. You know, so, and just how fucked up would that be? How fucked up would that be? Fuck, I wish I would have done it. Should have done it. 
next video. It wouldn't really work on this one, but you know, we'll bring it back sometime, huh? We'll bring it back sometime. Let's see, what are you guys asking me? I said lots of questions going by. Fuck that, not far enough. <laughs> Do you need someone to play the role of the cardinal? I don't. We don't have a cardinal. Uh, what's the budget? <laughs> what, is, what do you care? Pornhub speech. I know, right? Like that could have been the sport. That could have, MC Barbecue says that could have been the Pornhub uh, extra. That's right. The cardinal getting the blowjob. That's probably up there on. Uh, there probably is some uh, cardinal porn up on you porn. I hope so. Now I'm going to have to go look. Next time I go jerk off which I won't be today because I had relations. Have you seen Bat Dad? Relations. <laughs> Google Bat Dad or watch it on YouTube. It's on Facebook or something. It is funny as fuck. It's this dad going around talking to his family, but he's got the Batman mask on and he talks everything like Batman and Christian Bale. I can't even do it. I don't even know how he does it. I can't fucking do it, but it's funny as fuck. All right, nice glasses, thanks. Yeah, they are nice fucking glasses. Dude got cricket. I don't know what that means. Is Davidian staying in the set list? I don't know, Justin Hass. I haven't decided. Ramstein did a Pornhub speech. I know. I remember the the Ramstein porn. Why are you guys calling it speech? What's a spech? Oh, special? Po yeah, they did. They did that. More beard questions. That's right. Blowjobs are never a bad idea. Ever. They're never a bad idea. Uh, already got my tickets for Lisbon. Nice. Um, do I still talk with Logan Bader? Yes. If you look on my Instagram, there's a picture of me and Logan from when they came through the last time they was on tour. I love how you say that you and the wife had relations. That's right. We had relations. So I won't be jacking off. So the next time I go to Pornhub, I will have to look up Cardinal Porn. Cardinal Spech. Sesh? Spech. Like special? I don't know. All right, how old are you, man? You don't know how old I am? Come on, man. That's pretty common knowledge at this point. I just had a birthday bash. Tell us something about the lyrics, please. Man, you should have been here with, uh, you should have been here the last thing. Was it the last thing? No, it might have been Facebook Live I was talking about. On Facebook Live, I talked about the lyrics. So... I haven't talked about them, I guess, on here. Although, is there a difference? I see a lot of the same names. I know you motherfuckers are walking the face, watching the Facebook Live. Um, I can tell you about the lyrics for Catharsis, which is the title track, uh, and that we're shooting a video for tomorrow. I'll just repeat all the things that I said at the beginning of the thing every five minutes. Because most motherfuckers ain't watching all the way to the end anyway. Yeah, I can see how long you watch. I know how long you're watching, motherfuckers. And it ain't all the way to the end for m most of you. And there's only 100 of you watching this damn thing. I can see the number right there. 104. I got 51 thumbs up. <laughs> Who knows how many thumbs down are coming. There's always a few. All right, let's see. Oh my God, I'm fucking stoked for this album. Been waiting for three years, says Jeffrey Gerdeau. Uh, this is the moist back me can this bowl I'm packing for machine head. All right. Holocaust Smokey says Andrian manga, manga, mongo. Sick bro lyrics. That's right. Look at that. Sean Begay. Hashtag sick. No Facebook here. Facebook is a cancer. It's a cancer. Come on. Yes. Facebook sucks. Look at all these Facebook haters. Six something about a compliment, bro. Uh, you're still younger than Mick Jagger. That's right. I'm still younger than Mick Jagger. I am. All right. <laughs> I still got that going for me. That's right. I'm fat and, you know, hung like a cashew, but I'm still younger than Mick Jagger. Yes. Um, let's see. What up, Rob? Says Michael Baldwin. Younger than Bob Dylan. That's right. I am younger than Bob Dylan. That's right. So there is something. There's some good stuff here. All right, Keith Richards and Mick Jagger are basically The Walking Dead. <laughs> nice beard. Do you like the band Ghost? I do like the band Ghost. I really like that first record by Ghost. They're good, man. I, would, I just went and saw Ghost. I posted some, uh, I don't know if, do you guys, any of you guys follow me on Instagram? Or is it only YouTube Live? 
here that you guys are watching, but I'm on Instagram and I put up some, you know what, I don't think I put it on my permanent thing. I just been doing the Instagram, I've been doing the Instagram stories a lot lately, man. I like that shit. I like the stories. You know, they're not forever. They go away. Some people see it. Yeah, I follow you, bitch. <laughs> Good. Good, motherfucker. Will there be a special edition of the album, asked James T. Yes. There will be a special edition. There will be several special editions. I'm actually working on the package right now. I got this guy named Gustavo Suarez. I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name. And uh, him and I are designing it. I had this, uh, I collaborated the, with this photographer named Senin Middleton on a, a bunch of stuff for the new record, a bunch of the packaging and obviously the album cover itself, which is a photograph I'm sure most of you have seen by now of the dude, the bend, naked dude bending over, covered in blood with the rose. And uh, he's just some dude that I discovered on the internet, man. I was just kind of you know, I sometimes I go down the rabbit hole looking for certain things and I was really trying to come up with a concept and I discovered some of his, of his photography and I was just fucking blown away, man. It was really awesome. Kids, super young, he's like 22, 23, something like that, like insanely talented. And uh, I had him do a bunch of, you know, I had some concepts then I had him, you know, bring these concepts to life and then he had his own concepts, which was really cool. So... Um, the, and then the package itself, you know, as you know, as I've talked about many times, I don't actually buy CDs anymore, but I do uh, appreciate physical stuff and we've always gone out of our way to make some really luxurious packages for our albums, you know, probably starting with the blackening and then continuing forward. And with this one, we're really, it's going to be, it's, I mean, even just the basic CD is awesome. 24 pages, like t very artistic. And, you know, so you're getting a lot of bang for your buck, man. You know, if you go out and plop down your money on that CD, it's fucking awesome. And the special edition, of course, will be even more expanded from that. And then the special edition of that is going to be, so there's going to be the regular CD, which is called Jewel Case. Then there's going to be the Digipack, which is, uh, you know, Digi everybody knows what Digipack is. But uh, the Digipacks are actually going to include the San Francisco show, the DVD of the San Francisco show. And uh, it kind of got, I think I, I talked about this on the last Facebook, but since some people didn't hear it, uh, you know, we benched the last, we benched the DVD from the San Francisco show because, you know, like I just, we started putting it together, I watched it, and it just, you know, sometimes, even though it was a fucking amazing show, life-changing show, like one of the best home shows we've ever played. It just like the camera somehow didn't capture that. And it happens, you know, sometimes you go into the recording studio and it just doesn't capture what you're trying to do and the magic you have and the song and everything. And so sometimes it takes a few times. And of course, when you're doing a DVD, you don't have a few times. And uh, it was just not meant to be, man. And so you know, we all talked about it. We didn't feel like it was worthy of being a standalone DVD release. And so we bench, you know, because, you know, DVDs cost a lot of money. You know, they cost like 25 bucks. And I was, you know, to us, it was good, but it wasn't good enough, especially compared to our last DVD, which was Elegies, which in my opinion was worth it. It was fucking awesome. Came with tons of bonus content. Awesome, amazing show from Brixton Academy. And so if we're going to do it, we got to do it right. And we got to do it and we got to take the time and we got to make sure everything's, you know, just, you know, so that we capture it. And so, but, you know, as we went forward, I was like, well, this is fucking, this would be rad special edition footage for, you know, you know the DVD for the special edition. So standard jewel case, 15 songs, 75 minutes long. The CD is catharsis. It's a journey, friends. I'm telling like strap in, you know, it's a commitment. It's, you know, it's like, it's Lord of the Rings. You know, like you sit down to watch a Lord of the Rings movie, it's fucking three and a half hours of your day. This is gonna be 75 minutes of your day. So it's a commitment, man. And uh, and I'm really proud of it, really stoked. You know, the, uh, the music, you know, there's a lot, you know, we got to a point where we were talking about cutting songs and the label was like, ah, oh, you should cut some songs. and this, that, the other thing, and you know, I, I started talking to him about it, and the thing about that all of it was there's this, there's this theme that kind of weaves throughout nearly every song, and, 
And if you broke up the songs, then you kind of break up the theme. And and, and, and I don't want to say it's a concept because that sounds like really pompous and stupid, but it's kind of a concept. And, that, and, and it's pompous and stupid. <laughs> so not really a concept, but it kind of is a concept. So, uh, you know, and so in the end, 15 songs, you know, if you t- and if you took a piece out, it like messed up the whole flow like it mixed up the balance you know we've got like some really mellow stuff and i've talked about this numerous times it's probably the most melodic we've ever been on a record definitely the most grooving we've been in a long time i would say it's maybe the least maybe not the least thrashiest we've been but it's it's the least thrashiest we've been in a while definitely got like a lot of the 10 ton hammer take my scars kind of grooves like that kind of vibe um, but yeah, 15, 15 songs, 75 minutes. Um, and then the bonus is going to come with the DVD of the whole show, 21 songs. And then there's going to be a super deluxe, super limited edition mail order only version that won't be in stores available through nuclear blast mail order only. And that's going to be like, you know, the big, the box and it's going to be like all the, you know, all kinds of the other stuff. So that shit's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see that embossed box and you know like it'll be it'll be really cool. So I think I was supposed to talk about something else and now I forgot what I was going to talk about. Periphery's Juggernaut is dope as fuck. Cool. Rob plays the Chuck Norris of groove metal. <laughs> Mail order bride, you're spoiling us, man. We are spoiling you. You know that? It's all good. I know this won't be the case, but please don't change your sound as much as Suicide Silence did on their last record. Well, I have, uh, we're not changing our sound as much. You know what? I'll tell you what. That Suicide Silence record ain't that bad. There's some, there's some good shit. You know that they should have mixed up the order a little bit. They should have put some of the more heavier straight ahead songs, um, towards the beginning. You're right. It was a big change for them. But you know what? I love those guys. I don't give a fuck. And this, you know, this is still Machine Head. You know, it's different. It's different. You know, I'm not going to sit here and say it's not different. It is different. Some people may feel we're changing it up as much as Suicide Silence says. I don't feel that we did because it still sounds, really sounds like Machine Head to me. But it's Machine Head doing a lot of, we're going, you know, like... This is probably the most, uh, it's probably the most, I don't want to say nervous, but it's definitely like, we're, we're, we're going out on a limb here and doing some shit that we've never really done. And it's exciting, man. It's exciting. You know, I think that, you know, for me, the way that I always look at music is, and you know, we were talking about how Bob Dylan is older than me still. So I got that going for me. But Bob Dylan once said, uh, you know, the, the secret to his longevity is, you know, like the, the, as a musician, you want to find new ways to say the same thing, right? Like you're always trying. And I believe that I truly believe that. Like I'm always trying to find a new way to say the same thing, you know, at the, at the core of what we are, we're machine head, we're heavy. We got brutal fucking guitars, you know, super bright, tight, fucking crushing sound, but you know we need to do things differently. We need to make we need to surprise you. We need to blow your mind. We need to give you the unexpected. And you know you don't want the unexpected. You don't want change, but you do because everybody wants it because people want to be blown away. You know, like I want your expectations to be one thing, and we take you someplace else. And you know it's a little unsettling. It's unsettling for a listener. It's unsettling for you know a maker of music, a creator of music. But you know what, man. I'm super proud of this record. I am so fucking proud of this record. It's a game changer. It is a game changer. You know, to me, this is this is really something special. Like we've we've really, you know, pushed ourselves and created something new and fresh and exciting. And you know, I, I've said this. I think I said this on the last time too. Like it's just, it's a really, you know, to me, this is a movie. You know, I sat there and said, Lord of the Rings. This is a movie. This record is a movie you know you're gonna listen to it and it's gonna take you 
on a journey and it's a uh, you know just from top to bottom it's got the fucking killer opening scene it's got peaks and valleys it's got some story development you know big sex scene I don't know there's no sex scene but you know but it's got something so it's uh I'm really proud of it man I'm really really proud of it and that's a great feeling to have you know I, I want to I want to just put it out there, but we got to wait. We got to let the record company do their thing, you know, get people excited. I will be uh, Friday, though. I'm leaving Friday, though. I'm going out of town. I am leaving for Europe. I'm going to be going and doing a press tour where every single day for 10 days in a row, I'm going to be doing interviews for nine hours a day. Jealous? <laughs> fuck. It's going to be, uh, yeah, it's kind of a head fuck doing it like that, but, uh, it's pretty exhausting, honestly, you know, like answer. And I know it doesn't sound exhausting. And yet, is it more exhausting than when I worked for my uncle Donnie's construction company, digging three by three foot ditches around houses? No, it's not that exhausting. It's a different kind of exhausting. It's a mental exhausting, but, uh, you know, just answering the same fucking question over and over and over and over and over again. But, uh, you know, this is all part of the process, man. This is all part of the process. So I'll be going over there. I may run into you guys. I may be fucking bumping into you. But for sure, I will be doing YouTube Live broadcasts, probably an interview. So you can just hear the interview and you can see what it's like to be interviewed and have the same questions asked over and over and over and over again. And let me tell you, it'll be gripping uh, YouTube Live. <laughs> it'll be It'll be thrilling. No, it probably won't. Let me see. All right. What do we got here? Facebook live stream is on. Uh, the face. So I'll be doing it. I'll be doing YouTube. So th th it's going to be different though, because I'm going to be over in Europe. It's going to be nine hour time difference. So I will be doing YouTube live at 5 p.m. Tuesday in Europe time, so I don't know what that's going to be for America. I'm 5 p.m. 8 a.m.? I'm going to be in Europe for most of it and then the UK at the end. I don't know. I don't even know where I'm going to be. So it's going to be either 8 or 10 or 9 hours different. And, uh, and you guys can come and fucking check it out. But just so you know, it's going to be a different time next week. Uh, 8 a.m. probably in America. Some of you from Europe, it'll be fucking... What, I don't even know what it'll be. It'll be 5 p.m. Hopefully. That's my plan. This is, this is kind of all my plan at the moment, but I don't know if my plan's going to pan out because I may have to leave. I might not even be doing interviews at 5 p.m. So I'll keep you posted. Uh, if, if I do know that it's going to be a big change for next Tuesday, I'll do a, a quick little post and I'll just post it. Hopefully you guys get notified and you can see it. All right, what do we got here? I'll probably have to catch it after the live fact, right? Safe travels, don't have too much fun. It'll be cool. Are you ever going to play your time bag guitar live? I played my guitar, UT local bands asks, are you ever going to play your dime bag guitar live? I've played it live many times. I played it live, uh, I actually just played it um, on, uh, I played it. If you go watch the YouTube, if you go to the YouTube page and you check out our cover from my birthday bash, our cover of Lincoln Parks in the end, which was a bit like huge fucking hit on YouTube, man, that shit got like a ton of traction. People love that. Um, I played, I paid the dime, the dime bolt at that during that song. So you can see me rocking it there. Oh, uh, safe travels. Halloween special. Yeah, you know what? Your outro solo on Voice of the Voiceless was epic, says John Doe. Right on. Fuck yeah. Forgot about that song. Um, I will be doing you doing the FB Live on Friday as well. You know what? I'm flying out on Friday, MC Barbecue. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm... Uh, I don't know. I don't, I'm, I honestly don't know. I might be going through customs. If I do, I'll try and do it early. Um... I can't remember what time I leave right now. So, uh, yeah. I'll keep you posted. Message in a bottle still kills, says Bone Machine. Fuck yeah. Awesome, man. Did you ever meet the band Criminal? I don't recall that. Can you play in the presence of my enemies in Philly in February? Hey, maybe. 
Do you change the set list every day? We're gonna work on changing the set list every day. Will you be using the Love Death guitar? I don't know, maybe. I don't know. Any chance you'll play All In Your Head from Supercharger? We probably should. 8 a.m. Grim. <laughs> we probably should. We've never played it. We've never played All In Your Head. I was at, You know what's so funny you said that? I, I just listened to that song the other day, and I almost never listened to Machine Head, but for some reason I had that riff in my head, and I was like, how the fuck? I couldn't remember what the vocal did. I couldn't, you know, like, because it's been goddamn forever. And uh, I played that song. And it actually, fuck, I was like, this is pretty fucking good. This might be a rocker live. You know, it could be a rocker live. We've never played, we've never even tried it. I don't know why. Sometimes you just forget. Please play devil with the king's card. Trephination. Oh, my God. We're getting requests going on. When you have a show on Mexico City, uh, pretty soon. Seasons Wither, says Crystal Smelts. Um, DVD update, says Yoshida update. Yoshida... No Nobudo. Yoshida Noburo, if you just tuned in, I gave you a DVD update earlier in this YouTube clip. Go watch the YouTube clip and you can hear about it all. It's sick, bro. All in your head is hashtag sick, bro. It is kind of sick. <laughs> hashtag sick, bro. Alan's on fire. Uh, do you plan on coming to Russia? Mesa cannot wait. Mesa cannot wait. I can't wait to play Mesa. But them ticket, so, them ticket sales are fucking pathetic. Holy fuck. Mesa is stinking. It's brutal. It's brutal. Come on. I don't know what's going on. I'm looking for... Hey, you know what, Raina Kalana? I am definitely looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to every day, Taylor. But I was pretty bummed out on the ticket sales for Mesa. I was like, holy shit, man. Eric F. asks, is your new album faster? Love it when you guys crank up the speed. Eric F., if you watch this video, you'll hear my description about what is going on. Please sing Damage Inside live. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Got tickets for Mesa and ABQ, says Sean, Be Sean Begay. Kick ass. Uh, got, got to get ready for work. Hashtag brutal. See you next week. All right, Jeffrey Godot, take it easy. All right, I'm glad to hear you're going more melodic. Oh, somebody just called me a communist scumbag. <laughs> Thomas Reynolds says, you communist scumbag. Communist? <laughs> Don't we like Russia now? Aren't we bros with Russia now? Milano, that's right, I'm coming to Milano. I am coming to Milano, actually, in case you didn't know that. I'm going to be in Milano for uh, one of the days of the press tour. And that'll be cool. Come back to Flagstaff. All right, let's see. What else we got here? Something about the lyrics. <laughs> Hashtag Russia bro. <laughs> this is Kenny Rusk. Hashtag Russia bro. All right, the more things change on vinyl. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with vinyl stuff. You know, that's... Uh, I know that there is going to be a vinyl of this record. There's going to be... Uh, there's, in fact, right after this, I got to go look at the vinyl layout that he's doing. And there is going to be vinyl. And it's going to be sick, bro. It's going to be sick, bro, vinyl. It ain't going to be fucking just bullshit black vinyl. I was like, I was like, why are we even doing black vinyl? Like, who gives a fuck? Like, they got all the killer, like, splatter patterns now. You can do fucking gold splatter and blood splatter and silver splatter and fucking picture discs. Did you guys see the Bloodstone and Diamonds picture disc? It was sick. God damn it, it was fucking awesome. I was like, let's just sell that. I mean, black is vinyl is so fucking, you know, 30 fucking years ago. Like, we can do all this shit. Like, that's the norm. You know, people love it. You know, I mean, all, all you vinyl collectors, I know you love the more crazier stuff, and I love the more crazy. You know, for the, when it comes to the packaging, we go nuts. Like, I love going pack, packaging crazy. I'm OCD. I've been driving my fucking dude who's putting it together nuts because I want it to be so like I want to take you into a world man so you know the vinyl to me if you guys like vinyl will definitely be vinyl I believe the special 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 ultra special edition mail order only comes with the vinyl so it'll be the CD the DVD oh shit I forgot about that so the mail order ones got it'll have the CD regular CD it'll have the DVD and it'll have a special bonus live album 
recorded all over the world, but it'll have tracks from uh, Florida, it's got tracks from Indianapolis, it's got tracks from San Antonio, it's got tracks from, I think, Berlin, it's got, New, it's got you know, New Jersey, like, st all kinds of cool shit, so, it's fucking, it's pretty sick, dude, like, I gotta say, I was pretty impressed with, you know, I, uh, when it all came together and Nuclear Blast was up for it, and the vinyl comes with it, and... There's a live, what is it? It's the, it's the, it's, so it's the live bonus disc on vinyl also. And it comes in a killer special edition box. It's fucking sick, bro. It's going to be awesome. I was really juiced on like, they're going for it, man. They're going all out. And, uh, so yeah, I forgot about all that. How did I forget about that? Jesus Christ. Um, anyway, but we're coming on tour. North America, January through March, Europe, March through May. So we're gonna be torn our asses off right off the fucking right off the bat. Five months straight torn behind this record, and uh, I'm looking forward to it, man. Can't get out. Can't wait to get out. We got VIPs still. Some of them are sold out already, but there are still some available in some cities. There's soundcheck VIPs. There's regular VIPs. Um, and those come with other shit too. Those are going to come with a custom shirt this time. Yeah, we're fucking, we're getting out there, man. We're getting ready. We're gearing up. I can't wait. Yeah, you're going to be stoked, man. You're going to be stoked with all this stuff coming your way pretty soon. So ready for Dallas again, says Joseph Finesca. I am too. I, I tell you what, man, that Gas Monkey show was really fun last time. That was a fucking... That was a great guy to, eh, look at that, Navajo Nation loves you, hell yeah, we love Navajo Nation, fuck yeah, maniacs. Uh, let's see, laser disc edition, I don't know about that, um, Pittsburgh, I can't wait to get come back to Pittsburgh, fucking love Pittsburgh, maniacs there, god damn it, and Tilburg. Careless Whisper was magical, says Javon Bryan at your birthday bath. Thank you. I had a blast doing that. One of my favorite jams ever. Um, <laughs> Woodcox. Rob loves Woodcox, says David Woodcox. Evolution Hotline says, fucking see me. I don't know what that means. Tilburg awaits Boston at the Paradise at Farewell to Arms. Uh-oh, we got all the song. We got all the song requests. Um, let's see. What else? I think that's about it, man. We've been rapping here for a good while. We've been rapping here for about 35 minutes, so I'm going to get cruising. i got to make some fucking dinner. And uh, is that it? That's it. That's it, guys. It was, once again, great as always rapping with you. Thanks for tuning in. Still got 100 motherfuckers watching here, which I appreciate you watching any of this for any amount of time. So thanks for tuning in, man. Thanks for subscribing. You know, you subscribe to the Machine Head thing. That's how you probably knew about it, right? Fucking A. So thanks for subscribing. Anyway, be back here. As I told you, remember, next Tuesday, 5 p.m. Europe time. So it's going to be different. You may have to miss it as a result. Maybe not. I don't know. And that is uh, as long as I'm still doing press at 5 p.m., I might have to be moving to the airport. If that's the case, I'll have to do it at a different time, maybe earlier, maybe later. But, you know, for the next three weeks, starting Friday, it's going to be a little topsy-turvy, man. I'm going to be gone traveling, doing the press tour. So, uh, you know, I'll have to give you some kind of updates somehow on when the YouTube lives are going to be happening. Or maybe I'll just surprise you motherfuckers. But for sure... Live from the video, live from uh, live from the video shoot, Catharsis video shoot tomorrow and Thursday. So stick around, tune in for that shit. Get ready to see how a really, you know, it's a long process making a video. It's weird and kind of boring, but the end result's awesome. So anyway, guys, good ramp with you. Take it easy. Late. All right, what am I doing?